Julia Fox, model and mm, influencer for sure. This woman has one of the most bizarre Bozzy astrology charts I have ever seen. And that's saying something because I've probably seen thousands of charts. And so for that reason, let's unpack it. Hi, my name is Lydia. This is the Feng Shui and Bozzy Chinese Astrology channel. I'm so glad that you found me today. And if this speaks to you, Please subscribe, follow, like, all the happy things. Super subscribers are always, always a delight. Thank you again for being here. Um, so Julia Fox is born February 2nd, 1990, which means that she is not born in the month of February, nor is she born in the year 1990. This is somebody who's born on the cusp of the month and the cusp of the year. And... As I am filming this, we are experiencing a, a new moon eclipse today. And in astrology, Bazi astrology, this really speaks of somebody who is kind of in an eclipsed place. She, her life, so much of it feels like um, she's ne neither here nor there right? She's got one foot in and one foot out. So I have actually seen a chart in which the, the person was on the cusp of the day, cusp of the year, cusp of the month, like so much of cusping that you feel this level of not being stable in anything, right? So her chart is truly one of the weirdest ones I've ever seen. And I know I've said with celebrities, like Kanye West comes to mind and they were romantically entangled at one point, though I would imagine it was a disaster. Two ginormous egos cannot be in the same room, let alone a relationship. So she's born February 2nd, 1990 at 14 o'clock. And this, just breaking it down, yin earth snake year, um, the month of yin fire ox, the day of yang earth dog, and the hour of yin earth sheep. Now, you have got three of the four earth animals present in this chart, first of all, first thing I see. Um, and that's a major penalty, that's considered a full penalty. Um, when you have um, the sheep, the dog, and the ox all present in your chart, that is a lot of earth, first of all, and it's all banging up against each other, like an earthquake, okay? And um, and earthquakes, interestingly enough, often will happen on a day when there is a lot of earth and the day is water and the water brings that instability. Mm -hmm. Recently happened in New York City from Boston to, to uh, Washington, D.C. That little earthquake was felt and it was a pig day surrounded by earth. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so this penalty shows that this is someone who has had to deal with in her life chronic stress around family issues, okay, and to the point where it has taxed her and affected her. Now, I know nothing about the background of this woman, and maybe you do, and you want to put something in the comments. And if you put comments, please keep it positive. Thank you so much. Um, so when we have a chart like this, get this, as an earth person, she uh, is 75% her own element. 75%. Wow. Wow. And what nourishes that fire is very balanced at 21%. There's a tiny bit of metal 
about 9%, and a trace amount of water and wood. Now this can't be a true follow self because there is no, let me check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no, there's no um, full trio. That's one of the qualifiers for a dominant chart. Um, and also the enemy, which is water to earth is, um, there's, there's, there needs to be no enemy element and there is enough to not qualify it. But suffice it to say that when you add up what nourishes her and her own element, you're talking like over 90% of her own energy is herself. So it makes perfect sense that she dresses the way that she does, that she does this shocking, you know, like Bianca Sensori. I mean, really, Kanye West has got a thing with these women, right? Extreme dressing, extreme fashion. And it's a lot of look at me because it's all about me. I'm sorry, <laughs> didn't you know? It's the Julia Fox show or the Kanye West show. Let's see, who else do we have that's got great big inflated self elements, Kim Kardashian? Yeah. When we see these charts, or even Donald Trump, these charts where your own element is so strong, it's, it's you can very easily get lost in there. And it is all about your people, your circle, however big or small it is. It could have a big audience, it could be a world audience, be on the world stage. Or it could be something very tightly cocooned, just, I just want these people with me and that's it, right? So there's like shadow sides to all of this. And you know, on another level, it could be somebody that's got this great big, huge sense of self and they have something to share. But what I have seen is there's a whole lot of ego um, on display. And even on in an ordinary, everyday human being walking the earth, when I have seen charts like this, these are really hard people to match up with someone else. How can you stand up against that? How can you be in a romantic relationship with somebody who has got that much of their own element? They are so wrapped up around themselves. You either have to be somebody willing to come in and let your own self go, let your own story, your, your life go. You have to blend in with them and kind of join their camp. And there are people that I guess are willing to do that. Um, sorry, I just came in from the woods. I might have got itchy bits and the bugs are already out. So when we break all this down, the interesting thing is her hour of a yin earth sheep really is artistry. She is an artist through and through. This woman is brilliant. I mean, like, Einstein, brilliant, smart, smart woman, innovative, creative, artistic. The way that she dresses is very much her performance art. It's performance art. It's kind of interesting because Bianca Sensori, I kind of feel like that's what she's doing too. It's attention getting. You know, you've seen... Um, art installations where somebody will be doing something very provocative in an art studio, maybe painting nude or whatever. It's kind of along those lines. It's just her every day. Let's bleach out my eyebrows and put on some crazy costume and go out. You know, entertain the paparazzi today. Um, so when you look at this is yin earth and she's yang earth, and what I'm seeing, my first thought when I saw that is, this is her alter ego. Through and through. 
This is her alter ego. This is where she gets to play a role outside of who she really is when she goes home and closes the door. Um, yeah. And it wouldn't be surprising if her romantic interests aren't tied to her work. Um, and this is rooted here where her work is. It is also where things like real estate, law, um, and, and also the goddess, like the feminine essence kind of shining through all that too. Um, so this really speaks of somebody that is a performance artist. And um, when you look at the journey of her life, um, in an extreme chart like this, you don't want to see water or wood, maybe a little metal, the metal is helpful in getting her out of herself. As of 2020, she's in a luck cycle of yin metal snake. That is helpful. That metal is also giving her permission to be radical, rebellious even, to intuitively flaunt herself and allow her life to be a, cons a continuum of transformation from 2020 to 2030. This time of the snake brings in qualities of spirituality, education, learning, um, and also enjoying everything that she is creating. After all, it is all about her. So whether or not you are even interested in Julia Fox or not, the chart itself is radical enough for me to have covered it for you. Because if you have a chart like this, you are definitely a very interesting person. That snake in her year is what's giving her that sex appeal. Um, the dog in her day shows that this is somebody that is very much about justice and very much about um, standing up for the underdog and getting, you know, it can be kind of like, you know, in your face, but very trustworthy. And the other thing that's interesting, this is a woman who is large and in charge very large and in charge, and she does not subordinate to anyone. She is can be aloof. She can be, um, again, self-absorbed, extraordinarily independent. Now, when we look at one of the things that's the most beneficial for her is yang wood. The yang wood helps to feed the fire that nourishes her. It also helps to invigorate her prospects for romance and career because her day pillar is in void. Everyone has two void animals. And for her, it is the um, rooster and the dog. And what does that mean? Voids are very interesting. Not many people talk about them. A void in your day specifically, speaks to someone who has um, a harder time holding on to romantic partners. And when they do have a partner, they're more likely to have emotional or physical distance. It takes a lot more effort to make it work. Now, when we look at her for this year of um, a Yangwood dragon. Now we have all four zodiac animals that cover the earth, right? And I've talked about this before. The ox is January, 
dragon is April, the sheep is July, and the dog is October. So this is, this is powerful. Now there are a bunch of things happening for this woman this year. One is a shake up with her career. Some big thing is gonna go down with her career. This could be a positive or a negative, and I think it's a negative, and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. Um, don't like to be the bearer of bad news, but we are seeing a big shift in her career. Some big challenge, something's coming up. And then the dragon, she's born on the day of the dog. The dragon is banging up against her day. This is a threat to her very welfare and any romantic relationships. This could speak of something happening to her physical, emotional, you know, illness, accidents, all of things like that. The dragon really speaks to her. So this is very personal. This affliction this year, it is very personal. Tucked within the dragon, is money, property, her health, romantic relationships, and again, her work and also her family. This is very much a difficult, challenging year for her. Given that this month of April that I am recording this in is the month of the dragon, I would imagine it is an extra challenging month and it will be again in October, the month of the dog. Um, because that's the next big one for all of us, because the dog is the enemy of this year of the dragon. This isn't good. It's not good at all. And, um, the fact that the dragon is damp earth, it does, it's, this is not helpful for her. So it will be interesting. Keep your eye on Julia Fox. See what's going on with her in the news. It's going to be an interesting year for her, for sure. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, be well.